Stand by, ready. Murphy Brown, where are they now? Take one. And action. I left FYI a few years ago. You couldn't tell the evening news from an episode of Entertainment Tonight. The problem was I didn't know what to do with myself. And then we had an election. We are the one who <sighs> I left FYI because the network asked me to anchor their morning show. Wake up, America. It was all going fine until the weather girl took a couple of weeks off for foot surgery. She came back to the show with double Ds. When she stood next to the weather map, we couldn't see Oregon. The next thing I know, she's in, I'm out. Over here, or better over here. <clears throat> I too left FYI. I thought I needed a break, but work is my middle name. I got a job offer. I thought it'd be a nice change of pace from the pressure cooker of a weekly news magazine, but two years on The View nearly killed me. The gossip, the fighting, the backstabbing. Every day was like an episode of Game of Thrones, minus the fur vests. It's a whole new world out there. OJ is out. Nazis are in. Nazis. I started imagining myself going undercover as one of them, putting on my cotton dockers and my Lacoste shirt and going to Ikea to buy a torch. Don't get me started. Remember when Walter Cronkite was the most trusted man in America? Now you've got a bunch of talking heads with no journalistic cred who think Yitzhak Rabin was a judge on Project Runway. It was time to come back with a new show. Pat Patel here, new guy. Director of technology and social media for said new show. My job is to bring all the uh, olds into the 21st century. This was actually Murphy's phone before I intervened. I mean, I knew they existed, but I had never seen one in person. Look, it opens. No home button, no Siri. I mean, how did she live? She's on AOL too. Don't mock the classics. After my brother Phil passed, I took over what has always been Washington's favorite watering hole since 1919. Um, I, I hung one of those uh, whiteboards in back of the bar, and every Friday night, we add the names of the people that have been fired by the White House that week. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger board. So we had to do something, get the old gang together, take on this crazy new world of alternative facts and fake news. It's our civic duty. And besides, you missed us. You know you did. Wow! You know, it's not nice to mimic someone. I'm a respected journalist! The Murphinator. If you are any of the following, a smoker, a manic depressive, a fan of Donald Trump, or a collector of Nazi memorabilia, this isn't going to work. When I spoke to Satan this morning before breakfast, he pretty much guaranteed this would be a great experience. Primetime TV as Murphy Brown, mocking the importance of fathers. Women in this country legally have a choice. At least I think they still do. I haven't checked the paper today. Here's some ice chips, Murphy. Can I put some in your mouth? I see your hands are full. Cut me open and get this kid out of me. Use a rotten stinking melon baller if you have to. Just do it. Got their greasy fingerprints all over my Emmy. All right, she's uh. back.